Juju Smith-Schuster's knee is a mess, mm -hmm. and that thing could explode at any point. And so you almost have to keep an extra receiver in. You almost have to keep an extra receiver because of that. That was Bert Freer on Sunday night. Talking about Juju Smith-Schuster yesterday, Bert was in studio telling us more about Juju Smith-Schuster uh, and the Chiefs being concerned about his availability heading up to the Super Bowl and how the Chiefs liked Juju Smith-Schuster and would have considered bringing him back, but the dollar amount just got to a point where they weren't comfortable based on his knee. And you heard him there say that it was uh, something that factored in to his free agency, but also is something that could impact his year. Juju Smith-Schuster's knee is a mess, and it could explode at any point. Well, Juju Smith-Schuster has now spoken to Karen Garigian, saying, quote, MassLive.com, I don't think my knee is a ticking time bomb. If anything, it's something that's getting stronger every day. He did acknowledge needing most of the two-week break between the AFC title game and the Super Bowl. Saying, quote, after the AFC championship, my knee was sore. I couldn't walk for a couple of days and literally didn't practice until a couple of days before the Super Bowl. Then I went out and performed and performed pretty well. Great, actually. That is what he said of his Super Bowl performance. Uh, he also talked about a flight after the Super Bowl going to Japan that caused swelling in the knee and he needed time to recuperate from the flight. That was part of the reason that forced him out of early camp here at the Patriots uh, uh, back in the spring, but he was active out there during training camp. Uh, he needed to have surgery after the Super Bowl. He had a cleanup procedure as he phrased it saying from the cleanup surgery and traveling to Japan after the Super Bowl, I needed some time. There was swelling after a six-hour flight, but it's good now. It feels great. I have not missed a practice since training camp began. That is what he said. But he said he does not believe that his knee is a ticking time bomb, but he is talking about a, a challenging two-week lead-up to the Super Bowl, a challenging offseason, dealing with a cleanup surgery and swelling from a flight to Japan and having to miss some things in the spring. But right now, he claims he feels good. There's one thing that stands out to me here. He says his knee is getting stronger all the time or every day, as he put it. Let me get the exact quote. I want to read that again. He said, if anything, it's something that's getting stronger every day. Stronger every day? Is it good or not? If your knee is good and healed and it's not an issue anymore, why is it getting stronger every day? Are you still rehabbing? Are you still dealing with something? I, I assume you are when you say something like that. Sorry, Beal. Uh, it, it's hard not to to think that way. It really is. And I, I'll be honest. It, have you seen much of him in training camp? Have you heard much? Has he popped? Has he, did, no. Have you? Any? Can I get Don't one pop. one day of Juju Smith Schuster went off? Did you see him? No. Go, not once. No. So it leads you to believe that you know it, that Breer might be onto something. You know, and it's it's. And I also the years in the cornfield thing with the receivers this year is a little bit uh, bothering me a little bit just because these guys seem to re respond to a lot of the stuff that comes oh, their way. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, the just, antennas are up. The antennas are up, uh, and that's fine. That's always an indication that the team isn't uh, as cohesive as it needs to be. Uh, so that's something to to be concerned about. But the fact that he hasn't really done anything in training camp that's newsworthy or noteworthy is concerning and so it's obvious i think for all of us talking heads to point to the knee i mean the the fact that he's talking about swelling in a knee from a six-hour flight you know in the off season and it being you know, being part of maybe why his knee uh, wasn't feeling great in the off season is a little bit alarming to me it's it's just a little bit troublesome and look i will the jacoby myers thing him going to the raiders i just said that's that is a guy that you want to promote, pay, uh, hoist up, and and kind of have as a face of your franchise because he did it the hard way being undrafted, and he's your re leading receiver the last three years. And so I'm going to compare yeah. Juju's production to Jacoby Myers, and right now it's, it's not even close. So Hardy and I were talking when this, and I know these two players are going to be linked in – in this regard, like this off season, they're linked no matter what they let 
Jacoby Myers walked. They brought in Juju Smith-Schuster. I don't have an issue with them moving on from Jacoby Myers at all because I don't think he's a one either. And they're they're so desperate for real talent on this team. If if moving on from him to get better, I would have been fine with it either way. So I'm not bemoaning the loss of Jacoby Myers, not even a little bit. But when Hardy and I talked about this the day it happened, Hardy, we know where we stood on this. And you were saying, why not keep Jacoby Myers? And I said, Juju Smith-Schuster is, is a better player. Now I'm not convinced of that. An injured or slower or dealing with knee issues, Juju Smith-Schuster is is worse than having a healthy Jacoby Myers. I mean, that's not even a debate. Well, uh, two things that sticks out to you when he says it's getting stronger every day, which is the most obvious pickup there, and it's a good pickup to say, oh, oh no, no, I don't think it's, it's getting stronger every day. Well, what level is it at right now? If it's getting if if by getting stronger you hope to get it to a hundred percent, what per, what percentage are yeah. you at? Right. It's also yeah. a little alarming that's, when he said, point you're making, "I just spoke with the bomb squad. I mean, my doctor the other day, <laughs> and I don't think my knee is a ticking time bomb." All right, uh, he didn't say that. But wait a second, did you say that he had a problem on a flight? Well, thank goodness they don't have to go to Dallas and sit on a plane for four hours <laughs> mm-hmm. in week four of the season in yeah. a game that we sit here and talk about in the first four weeks of the season. Oh, he went. We, he went. Yep. He went ac- across. Uh, he went to a different continent. Oh, good thing the Patriots don't have that on their schedule this year. <laughs> oh, good thing oh, they're not playing in Germany. Good thing they're not in Denver on Christmas Eve. I mean, holy crap! That's true. <laughs> When he gets off the plane on long road trips, are we worried about his knee blowing up like a balloon? (laughs) Going to look like he's got an air hose running down his sweats. It's just going to be stay puffed marshmallow man on the bottom right quadrant of his body. The thing that blows my mind is they knew that this was as serious as it was Super Bowl week. Yeah. The the team knew. We didn't know at the time. Burt Breer, I guess, knew. But... They knew and they had all the medicals and they run you through the MRI machine and they still went ahead and signed him. I've been talking about this now for six weeks. I can't believe they knew this and and decided again that that was going to be a sure bet for them. It just speaks to the bigger problem with this offense that they didn't put enough energy into shoring up their offensive line They didn't go far enough in adding real talent in the receiving core. They just sort of took what they could do and get done easily. Mike Gesicki, easy one year, easy move. Doesn't take a lot of effort to sign Mike Gesicki, who's already hurt. Yeah, I was more bullish on Mike. So I'm look, I I, I'm more bullish on Gesicki than than you guys are. I think that's not a hard guy to land. You can admit that, Ted, even if you like the player. No, 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 that, that, that's, that's true based on his production from last year, but he was in the doghouse last year. I mean, 32 catches, he still had five touchdowns. I don't know. That's pretty, that's, that's more productive than, than a lot of t- uh, tight ends. And see, I, I get your overall one point, year, one year, four and a half million dollars. Yeah, Is that no. like the base? No, 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 I mean, that's a fair point. That's right? a fair point.